All right, so let's talk about safety. We're getting to some of the good stuff now. So water bath canning is safe for acidic foods that have a pH of 4.6 or lower. This includes items like jams, jellies, tomatoes with added lemon juice, vinegar, or citric acid. Low acid foods, which include things like meat, poultry, fish, and vegetables that have a pH of 4.6 or higher, those items need to be pressure canned, which is totally different than water bath canning. I often talk about using approved recipes, and what I mean by that is that these recipes that are approved have been tested for their acidity levels. It's really important when you're water bath canning to make sure that your recipe has the appropriate amount of acidity so that it's safe to simply be water bath canned on the stove and to have a, an, an appropriate shelf life. As you be become more and more acquainted with canners and you have a chat in your local community, you're gonna hear a lot of people talk about botulism. Botulism is a bacteria that is tasteless, odorless, and can really, really make you sick and even kill you. So I'm saying this not to scare you, but just to stress the importance of following the current safety recommendations when it comes to canning and to use appropriate tested recipes. You really don't want to take that risk. In the US, I'm in Canada, they have a lot of extension offices and universities that have websites with tested recipes on their websites. So those are good resources. And there's also just the old fashioned way, buy a book. So one of my favorite books is the Bernardin Complete Canning book. And it's, what, it's a book that I reference often. It has thousands of tested recipes. Honestly, you could probably just buy one book and you'd be good for completing all of your canning. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Just a quick one to talk about safety and I will join you in the next one.